She tell me she a rider. No room for the switch up. She gon' sit up right. So for all my music makers, the first thing we wanna do is let our friends and family and audience know exactly what we need them to do that's gonna help our career as artists. The obvious first thing is please stream and download the music. We all need that to actually make some money off the music. Another thing we need to do is ask everybody to do some TikTok, do some Facebook stories, some Instagram stories, and all the different things. Put the music in the background. You might wanna dance to it, but at the same time, you might wanna just be in the car and ride to it. Whatever you do to the music, you're sending a message to the next person to say, hey, this is what you could use this song for. So if you got a cookout, this is great for a cookout. If you're rolling down the street, this is a perfect song for driving. If there's a party, this is the best party record. So you make sure you tell everybody, hey, please listen to the song, feel the groove, and use it accordingly you know what I mean also a big thing is sharing the music if you got a thousand friends and you share it to your thousand friends and they share it just two times that's 3,000 shares immediately don't nobody really be getting rich off streams unless every time you drop something it's just a million a million a million a million and like they say sharing is caring family also do not be afraid to post over and over again it's your social media page you're trying to promote something sometimes you just got to promote it over and over and over if some people seen it before, they just gonna scroll by it. It ain't gonna offend them. It shouldn't offend them. You're doing what you have to do for your product to get out there to the world. It's not personal, y'all. It's not personal. Nobody just throwing stuff on your page because they just want you to see them over and over and over and over and over. And you get the pitch. Also, my artist, you gotta introduce yourself like me. I'm Rashim Kilo Pew, AKA Kilo. Also known for big projects like the Miseducation of Lauren Hill, Faith Evans, Rush Hour, Fast and Furious, a lot of different projects that I've been on. I got two new singles out right now that you definitely need to check out. One is a house joint called Where She From. I can so tell just is. where she from, 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 from. I can see it from, from Newark. I'm from Bricks, Bradley Court. I'm from Jersey. It's exactly what you heard. Watch your mouth or catch a swerve. Yeah. And then another joint is called Swish Em Up. Swish up in a pot. I swish em up in a pot. I swish em up in a pot. If you gon' play in that dungeon, you be running for something. See that face on that demon. Hundred rounds and start dying. Swish em up. I swish em up. By OG Kilo. Type in OG Kilo, check that out. So artists, y'all need to let people know who y'all are. They don't just buy your music, they buy you. So you let people know, I'm letting you know who I am, my history, you can Google my name, Rashim Kilo Pew. See all the different things I do and check out my new music, all right? Make sure you let people know the backstory, who you are, where you come from, different things like that. So people can say, now let me hear the music. I kind of like this person. If they don't like the person, they might not want to check your music. It's okay. It's a billion people out here. Keep it moving. Also, have your people pitch your project and your stuff to other people. If they got friends, they got podcasts, they say, hey, yo, you need to check out such and such. Hey, yo, you need to check out such and such. Definitely check this joint out. This joint hot. Really, blah, 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 blah. that's what you got to do. And then at the same time, we know everybody trying to make some money. So you let your people know, hey, you know what? If I get plugged into here, I could break it off some right, 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 right there. You know what I'm saying? Right there. The front and the back. You from the front and from the back. You know what I'm saying? So you can let your people know, hey, I got a little fee. If I get some money from this, I'll break you off a little bit. Woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? With the wop and the wop and the wee woo. To the champ, your tank. Boom. So you let people know that and then they'll probably push it even further. You know what I mean? Use your connections. They always say six degrees of separation. You're right around the corner from where you need to be. One person away from who you need to meet. And you're one event away from meeting the right person. You just got to have the right things to say and be ready. You got to be ready when the opportunity comes so you can make it happen. And these are the things that you, as an artist, you want to tell your people that you are connected to on your social media platform. Yo, support the independent music, especially if you want to hear new things. You want to hear new music. You want to hear good music, then guess what? Help some folks get through that door, you heard? Help them get that chisel, because when they start making a little bread, they can make more music, and they grow, and they grow, and they grow, and they... Just a few tips for supporting some independent artists. So, yo, definitely, y'all, go check me out. OG Kilo. Put it in there. Check it out. And at the same time, check out all the other dope artists out here in the world that you're scrolling past and just clicking them a heart. Don't just click a heart. Take their music and share it. Bye. Say to Arch TV, say to Arch TV, let's go. TV. Let's go.